Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss a question which says that which of the following linear equations has one solution, no solution or infinitely many solutions. First part is 7 into n minus 3 the whole is equal to 7. Second part is 2 upon 3 into x minus 4 is equal to 2 into 1 upon 3 into x minus 2 the whole. And third part is 4x plus 5 is equal to 2 into 2x plus 5 the whole. Now before starting the solution of this question, we should know some results. First is, if two expressions remain equivalent for any value of variable, then it has infinitely many solutions. And the second result is, if two expressions are not equivalent for any value of variable, then it has no solution. And the third result is, if only one value of variable satisfies the equation, then it has one solution. Now these results will work out as a key idea for solving out the given question. Now let us start with the solution of the given question. Now let us start with the first part. Now in the first part, equation is given to us as 7 into n minus 3 the whole is equal to 7. Now let us solve this equation. Now this implies 7 into m minus 7 into 3 which is 21 is equal to 7 and this implies 7m is equal to 7 plus 21 and this gives 7m is equal to 28 which further implies m is equal to 28 upon 7 which is equal to 4. Therefore, m is equal to 4. Now let this equation be equation number 1. Now on solving this equation, we have obtained m is equal to 4. Now the only value of m that makes equation 1 true is 4. That means for m is equal to 4, the left hand side will be equal to the right hand side of this equation. Let us verify this. Now putting m is equal to 4 in equation 1, we get 7 into 4 minus 3 the whole is equal to 7. And this implies 7 into, now 4 minus 3 is 1, and 7 into 1 is 7, and this is equal to 7. So, left hand side is equal to right hand side, hence this equation is satisfied for m is equal to 4. Now, if we put any other value of variable m, then left hand side will not be equal to right hand side of this equation. For example, if we put m is equal to 1 in equation 1, then we have 7 into 1 minus 3 the whole is equal to 7, which implies 7 into, now 1 minus 3 is minus 2, 
is equal to 7 and this implies minus 14 is equal to 7 and this is not true as minus 14 is not equal to 7. Similarly, you can take any other value of the variable m but no value will satisfy the equation 1 except m is equal to 4. And from the key idea, we know that if only one value of variable satisfies the equation, then it has one solution. So, the given equation has one solution, that is m is equal to 4. Now, let us start with the second part. Now, in the second part, the equation is given to us as 2 upon 3 into x minus 4 is equal to 2 into 1 upon 3 into x minus 2 the whole. Now, let us simplify this equation. Now, this implies 2 upon 3 into x minus 4 is equal to, now using the distributive property, this will be 2 into 1 upon 3 into x minus 2 into 2. Further, this implies 2 upon 3 into x minus 4 is equal to 2 upon 3 into x minus, now 2 into 2 is 4. Now subtracting 2 upon 3 into x from both sides, we get minus 4 is equal to minus 4. Or you can write it as 4 is equal to 4, which is always true for any real value of x. So here, left hand side is equal to right hand side for any value of the variable x it means these two expressions remain equivalent for any value of x. Now from the key idea, we know that if two expressions remain equivalent for any value of variable, then it has infinitely many solutions. So here, the given equation has infinitely many solutions. Now let us start with third part. Now in the third part, the equation is given to us as 4x plus 5 is equal to 2 into 2x plus 5 the whole. Now let us simplify this equation. Now this implies 4x plus 5 is equal to, now using the distributive property, this is equal to 2 into 2x plus 2 into 5 and this implies 4x plus 5 is equal to now 2 into 2x is equal to 4x plus 2 into 5 is 10. Now subtracting 4x from both sides we get 5 is equal to 10. Which is not possible. Because 5 is not equal to 10. So here, the left hand side is not equal to right hand side 
for any value of x, this means these two expressions are not equivalent for any value of the variable x. Now from the key idea, we know that if two expressions are not equivalent for any value of variable, then it has no solution. So here, the given equation has no solution. And this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.